Hey what's up guys, Moonwater here. In today's video, I'll be comparing the B armor set and the newly reworked Obsidian armor set. Both of these are pre-hard mode summoner armor sets and I'll be comparing them to see which is better. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Only a small portion of my viewers have subscribed, so I'd appreciate it if you did. Anyways, let's get into the video. First off, let's go over how to obtain each armor set. The obsidian armor can be obtained after defeating the Eater of Worlds or Brain of Cthulhu. It is crafted with 30 silk, 20 shadow scales or tissue samples, and 60 obsidian. The bee armor can be obtained after Queen Bee and is crafted with 30 bee wax. So right off the bat, we can see that there are a few big differences between these armor sets. First, the obsidian armor has a little bit more defense but it loses one minion slot. Another big difference is the summon damage bonus. The obsidian armor has a 20% more summon damage than the B armor. That's quite a lot. Another thing to point out is the obsidian armor set bonus. It gives a 50% whip speed and range increase which is quite nice. Keep in mind that the obsidian armor can be obtained before the B armor. Because it's pretty weird that so far, the obsidian armor set looks like the obvious winner. Before we get on to the testing, I want to point out that these tests were performed with the exact same weapons and no modifiers and accessories. This is because I wanted to make the tests as fair as possible. First, let's go over the B armor. As you can see, it can summon up to 3 minions. That's one more than the obsidian armor. This can make a difference in some situations. Like when you're trying to explore an area, you don't have to focus on killing the mobs. The minions will do it for you. This is actually one of the main reasons why I enjoy playing Summoner. So you can just let your minions do all the work and they will kill them for you. Moving on to the whips, as you can see, the whip, um, basically nothing has changed. It only gives a slight damage increase. Now let's move on to the obsidian armor. Right off the bat, you can see that you can only summon up to 2 minions like I said before. Now the damage you lose is slightly made up for because the obsidian armor has 20% more summon damage than the B armor. Now moving on to the biggest and probably the best part of the obsidian armor is its set bonus. As you can see, the whip is a lot faster and has a longer range than normal. The damage you are losing from 1 minion is easily made up for by the increased whip speed. I also tested out both of these weapons on a few bosses. After I fought a few bosses, the obvious winner was the obsidian armor. Even statistically, you can see the obsidian armor is better than the B armor. The only downfall is the minion slot but doesn't even matter. The difference from the DPS was big mainly due to its summon damage and whip speed. Plus, you can easily make up for that minion slot by using potions a bewitching table, and accessories. Another thing you should keep in mind is the increased whip range. The increased whip range allows you to keep a further distance from a boss and still deal a nice amount of damage. When fighting a boss like the Wall of Flesh, the whip range increase actually helped out a lot. A great accessory I think you should use with the Obsidian Armor is the Feral Claws. The Feral Claws allow you to auto-swing, letting you maximize the increased whip speed from the set bonus. So to answer today's question, which is better, the B armor or obsidian armor? Well, I think the clear winner is the obsidian armor. It has a slightly higher defense and can provide a lot more damage and has a very good set bonus. It's kind of weird how the obsidian armor is better though, considering you can obtain the obsidian armor before the B armor. Could this allow summoners to skip Queen B? Well, you still shouldn't because defeating Queen B unlocks the Witch Doctor. The Witch Doctor sells a lot of useful stuff for summoners. I think Relogic made the Obsidian Armor a little bit too good and should have at least buffed the B Armor a little bit. So what do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I know I haven't done the most in-depth testing, but I think it's pretty clear that the Obsidian Armor is better. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I will also be making an updated summoner guide, so be sure to turn on notifications so you can be notified of my latest videos. That'll be all for today's video, and thanks for watching.